Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This is the PS4 Remastered Edition, and right now we're actually doing some platforming here. Uh, different change of pace to what how I usually start these videos, which is usually guns a blazing. Uh, so yeah, so basically what we want to do here is we want to get up here. Uh, no, we want to go over one more. Oh crap! I didn't think I was gonna make that. And we're gonna go up. Oh, I see a. Can I get up there? What? Climb over. All right. <laughs> Treasure. And that's one thing you guys will notice here. Again, I'm not really looking for them, but for the most part, they're very straightforward. I'm sure I missed a few, quite a few actually, but uh, they're not overly difficult, really. Okay. I thought there wasn't supposed to be anybody down here. Because they're not supposed to know about this. Okay, get this dude. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know, maybe I missed something. Pick up that, there we go. Okay. Yeah, well, it's always a good idea to always pick up. Oh, I don't really want that. Uh, screw it. Let's go with what we have. <laughs> That's what they thing, dude. Uh, with a lot of these areas, a lot of these treasure hunting games, whether it's uh, the Uncharted series or... Uh, Tomb Raider, or even movies like Indiana Jones or whatnot, it makes you wonder, like, why were these things built? Why are they so elaborate? And things like that. It just, like, just tombs in general. And, and the thing is, like, tombs are really elaborate. You know? Uh, there's actually, uh, there's a couple shows I watch more for, like, just entertainment and whatnot. Uh, but uh, there was one I seen, I think it was called Ancient Aliens, and basically what they always try to do, they always try to, uh, in the show they basically try to somehow put aliens into like history. So like there was one thing they had about like pyramids and how were these ancient civilizations able to uh, basically make these elaborate pyramids you know, man-made pyramids and whatnot. And, of course, uh, given that the show's called Ancient Aliens, they always try to say aliens did it. And, uh, well, I don't I don't necessarily believe that. Because uh, the reason I say that is because there was actually another show, I want to say it was Fact or Faked. And basically, one of the theories that, and reason why they always say it's aliens uh, when it comes to the pyramids, was that uh, they're like, there's no way that people, even... You have hundreds, if not thousands, of people, and oh shit, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. See, that's what I get. That's what I get for talking. <laughs> it's very difficult. I gotta say, guys. I know I've said this on and on. It is difficult to uh, uh, try try to have a chat while trying to play. As I fail here. Okay. But yeah, going back to the pyramids. Uh, I, I do believe it was fact or faked where they used to always try to uh, debunk things or prove things uh, and do experiments uh, of ways you could do it. And one of the things was actually moving big slabs of stone or whatnot. And uh, they actually proved that it is quite possible to do that with uh, quite a few less people than what people originally thought the, uh, the Egyptians uh, used. Uh, with just a few... Uh, homemade contraptions or whatnot and uh, it was pretty interesting so in most cases I mean no it's not really aliens at, at <laughs> uh, you know built a lot of these things it's just uh, humans and being very uh, intelligent beings you know that uh, we are well most of us anyway uh, how we're able to invent things and uh, always 
you know, the, the human marvel of what we're able to do, you know? How I got talking about that, playing Unch uh, Uncharted, I have no clue. Okay, so let's go back to some killing here. I know there's a guy to the right here that uh, has a shotgun. There he is, our buddy pal right here. If he would just kindly die, that would be great. Now we're going to finish him off. There we go. Okay, so... This part here, as I'm going to get some ammo here, uh, it's kind of a puzzle. Uh, basically what you're going to do, as I grab this here, is we're going to hit these two bells at the same time that will unlock uh, a secret door. Or rather, unlock the door here to the left. Right here. I can't remember. I want to say it actually tells you in the journal. But uh, it's, it's weird. It's one of those things I actually do remember uh, from this game. Uh, oh, no trophies. Uh, no uh, treasures. I thought to be a treasure there. Okay. We got all the clues right here. We can do this, kid. <laughs> How the hell does he think he's going to get that statue out of here anyway? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Okay. Shoot to kill. No, tre oh. no time for treasures. Seriously? Okay, screw it. Because there is actually a trophy to get uh, so many blind shot kills or whatever, like cover kills or whatever you call them. Uh, which I was trying to do there. I figured it was one guy, it'd be pretty easy, even though it is a handgun. And uh, obviously it obviously didn't work out, so then you just gotta blam him in the face. He's over there. Oop. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, definitely one more. There we go. Right in the face. Blam! Right in the face. Okay, so we're... Actually, we're going to look for some... See if there's any trophies, treasures, or other, whatever. Real quickly here. Don't want to waste your time too much. Nothing. Okay. I don't think it'd be anything back here, but you never know. Uh, I don't see anything... Shiny? No, no nothing shiny. All right. Oh no. Okay. Just the uh, ammo. All right. So we gotta go up here to the left. Okay. But like seriously, like I know. Again, this is a video game. We I realize that. But, like, when they're designing these games, and even movies, movies have this problem, like Indiana Jones and whatnot also. It's like, who came up with the design of some of these tombs and and whatnot? Like, I know they're supposed to be dangerous to, to uh, traverse into and whatnot, but uh, that's crazy <laughs> how, how they're designed. I found it hard to believe that one man could wipe out your entire crew. Oh, it's not just Drake, God damn it! I'm telling you, this island is cursed! Enough. Take your sorry mob and go. Wait, you can't cut me loose. You owe me a share of the gold! Your share, Eddie, was contingent upon you doing what I required. You assured me that Drake was captured and the island secure. Oh, this is bullshit, Roman, and you know it! We are done here, Mr. Roger. I die in camel! <coughs> My dear Zello! Zealan! Remind me again why you employed that superstitious idiot. You wanted someone cheap. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for, I suppose. And what about you, Navarro? Are you worth what I'm paying you? 
The vault's here. I'm sure of it. If Sullivan can be trusted... Which he can't. Look, he knows we'll kill him if he's lying. Don't be stupid. He knows we'll kill him once we find the treasure. He has no incentive to tell the truth. Really, Navarro, sometimes I think you left your brains back in that slum where I found you. I just need a little more time. Chasing this treasure of yours is proving to be more trouble than it's probably worth. I assure you, El Dorado is worth more than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> it had better be. Okay. So basically what's happening is that Eddie Raja's dudes not only get killed, not only getting killed by uh, our pal here, uh, Nathan Drake, uh, but he believes something else is at foot here. Uh, we'll s see if that's the case later on. But for now, I believe shortly we'll be coming up to a uh, kind of like a l elaborate puzzle type sequence. If not this video, then definitely the next one. Okay, watch this up. Then we can go out here. Whoa, what? Try it again. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I did. I guess I wasn't quick enough. Let's see if we can do this again here. There we go. Okay. Uh, all right. Of course, I went the wrong way. Okay. I don't know why I always... <laughs> it's weird, because like usually in video games... I don't know if you guys notice this, but usually in video games, there's like the rule of going right, where it seems like most games always want you to go right in a level. Uh, for whatever reason, I decided to go left there, but... Uh, pay attention next time you play games and see how many times, like, if especially if it's a linear game, how many times the right path is actually, quote-unquote, the right path. Okay, so what am I doing here? I know i got to get up there. Oh, there's a vine up there. So over here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we just got to do some more climbing here. All right, do some swinging. I will say now I don't know if they improved the the gameplay that much as far as like the mechanics or whatnot, but this seems to be better than I thought it was as far as like there hasn't been as much jankiness to it. Now I don't know like I mean we're pretty far in. We're I think we're like fifth the 15th chapter in this is like the 12th episode we've recorded so far uh, I believe and uh, I don't know if it's just simply because I'm getting better at the game but it, it definitely seems to be not as bad as I remembered it no it was never a bad game no, don't, oh, oh crap oh crap hold that thought okay But there was always definitely a few parts here that I always found like the platforming of all the things that happened in the scene. The platforming was like the most difficult. Uh, okay. Sometimes the most difficult because of how jankiness it could be on occasion. But who knows? Maybe, maybe uh, when Blue Point uh, ported this over, maybe they actually uh, uh, improved it beyond the simple remapping of buttons and whatnot. I really would have to go back and, and try it again on the PS3, uh, you know, just to see. Hey, you read me? Yeah. Sully, I'm just going in circles here. Well, the girl and I have been reading some of the books down here, and it looks like there's some kind of secret gallery at the top of the church. Can you get there? I think so. Yeah. All right. Give us a call if you find anything. <laughs> like this area here, it makes you wonder, was all this like one big floor at one point? Like I would assume it would have been and it just simply crashed. Like uh, it got destroyed over time. Alright.
Alright, so it seems pretty straightforward here. Let's do some more climbing. I will say though, uh, when, when you're when you are playing these games on crushing difficulty, uh, especially with the second one, I always cherished the uh, areas where there was no combat and it was simply just you climbing. Those are always the the ones I like the most. So basically, it meant some downtime, and uh, sometimes, especially in the second one, there's an area where you can like I think there's like a full chapter of just climbing and whatnot that. Uh, Give you a bit of breathing room, uh, you know. Like I said, give you some cool down. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? There we go. Nice. All right, now treasure. All right. So what we got going on here? That's okay. gotta be. It. Uh, I believe what we gotta do here, I could be wrong, but I, I believe there's these two big keys that we have to pull down on, which opens up something. Uh, let's see. Okay. Woo! <laughs> that was almost bad. Trying to concentrate here, try to do some climbing. If I'm not mistaken, it is over here. I think we're coming up to it. All right, yep, I'm right. So there's going to be two of these keys on each side, which should then open up a secret passage, uh, which will allow us to continue, and I believe it should be over there. So we simply got to backtrack here. And I don't believe it matters which way you do it. So I don't think it matters if you go from left to right or right to left. I think it it uh, it's generous enough to just simply let you do it the, the way you want. Uh, I could be wrong about that, though. So much in the same way as the last one, you kind of do some more shimmying here, uh, climbing and whatnot. Okay. All right. There we go. Progress, people. And that should unlock. Okay, it's the window. All right, all right. It's the window. I thought it was the altar thing at the bottom there, but I'm thinking of maybe of even a different game. Okay, try not to freaking screw this up. Okay, all right, whoa, okay, okay, we got this, we got this. All right, so I know there's a treasure here somewhere, and of course I went the wrong way. So I'm going to get this treasure, and then I'm thinking going to end it. So until next time, this is LeBurn98 as we get this right here. Awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, take care, guys. See ya. Bye. Well, hello there. You gotta be kidding. <sighs> hey, Sully. I'm here. Remember Roman and Navarro? That red herring you sent them on to get them out of the way? Yeah. Well, they're sitting right on top of the treasure vault. Oh, of all the goddamn luck. Look, I'm gonna need a diversion to get them out of there. You got it, kid. One diversion. Coming right up. And Sully. Yeah? Once they're gone, meet me in the mausoleum. But come through the catacombs. It's safer that way. Gotcha. Now I've just gotta get past all these goons without getting noticed.